Right, so GCN Plus slash the GCN app is going. Now I wanna talk about this because it seems like a lot of misinformation and why it's probably gonna be going. So number one, obviously very sad for everyone who works at GCN Plus, big L on their job also because obviously there's not that many other places you can really go if you're into cycling and have some kind of videography skills. But let's just talk about the main response from Twitter and why it's kind of interesting. So everyone on Twitter is losing their mind, obviously, because it's Twitter. Uh, but they're sort of talking about like, oh, uh, where are we going to watch the racing? Is they even going to have racing? Now, it's important to realise that before you're, before GCN Plus, like in the UK, I know it's not the same everywhere, you could watch all the same cycling that you could on GCN Plus on Eurosport, right? You could watch it uninterrupted, like they had all the streams, it was fine. So I think that will continue. I don't know why it wouldn't. I think the biggest loss will be in countries where there isn't Eurosport or they have more difficulties securing the rights. So maybe for America, for example, it could be more difficult. Ultimately, why they're getting rid of GCN Plus? And the reason is, is quite simple. They pay for the rights. And on Twitter, the only thing people complain about, more or less, is losing the, the rights to the races. But it's like those are already being paid for by like GCN Plus subscribers who don't pay very much and Eurosport, Discovery Plus, all the people who are already paying for everything, right? So if you're Discovery Plus, I think they have debts of like 50 billion, they're losing a lot of money. Or sort of Warner Brothers who own Discovery Plus, who own GCN, all the rest of it, they have debts of 50 billion. So obviously it's not, I don't think it's going too well. And the point is, is like, if all people are complaining about is the rights to the TV, to the races, and no one's really complaining about the GCN Plus documentaries, then obviously it's not gonna succeed because 30 quid a year is just not enough to cover the race, like the race highlights and race footage. So you're like, okay, we could get all these people to pay 30 quid a year and then have to do all these GCN Plus documentaries, which are losing us mad amount of money. Or we can this whole thing, already have the race footage because we paid for it like for Discovery and Eurosport subscribers that we can just then charge the people who watch the cycling more. How many will bail? Probably not that many. And as long as some do, then you'll be okay. So from a business perspective, it's kind of obvious why they do that. And I think ultimately it's kind of sad, but like how many people watch the GCM Plus documentaries? It clearly isn't enough because if it was, the, the subscription would stay. And I think the Nero show did say like, it's just too cheap. And obviously it's too cheap, like 30 quid for cycling and uh, the, the documentaries. And I think you might think, okay, like how much more is Eurosport? Yeah, Eurosport might be like 50, 60 quid, but you get so much more sport. So you're kind of like, maybe the cycling isn't that much. And, you know, you could be right. But still, ultimately, like the way it will end up, I think in countries that don't have great rights, it could be difficult um, to like kind of uh, have the rights in the future. I think for most of Europe, uh, including like the UK and stuff, I actually don't think it will change anything. It's more expensive, which is annoying. You won't get your GCN Plus documentaries, which I think like some people will be upset about, but having seen the reaction on Twitter, most of it is more about the races. In terms of race footage, the people who buy it are not GCN. GCN just like showed it, obviously. Um, but yeah, I, I think if you kind of remember like 2019, 2018, all the footage was just Eurosport. You had a Eurosport subscription, you got all the sports. It was like 30, 40 quid a year. Now it looks like it might be GCN, uh, sorry, it might be Discovery Plus, which is more expensive, which is lame. Uh, but I just think that's the way it's going to go. Ultimately, you know, cycling is not having the best financial time. These people are losing money. I think a, lot, a couple of weeks ago, no, maybe a month ago, they were saying GCN is losing a lot of money, all this stuff. And, you know, the first thing to go really is going to be the documentaries. As soon as the documentaries go, you're okay. Like, what's the point of GCN Plus? It's basically just people paying for a cycling subscription. Uh, and that's it. I think the last point I want to cover is the GCN channel. Now, that is, must be the most profitable part of it. I think I've heard people quote like 20K or so uh, to go on there for like a full feature length video. I think an unboxing is maybe five or 10K. It's like a lot of money. Obviously, you get ad revenue, which is probably quite significant for them, but they are employing a lot of people. So most of the money will be from paid sponsorships. And I assume if you have like a long-term partnership, like Canyon or someone, they must be paying a lot in order to have that. And although like I don't really watch any of their videos anymore, I think they're kind of not, not that good as compared to what they used to be uh like they still get a lot of views so i think gcn itself will still stay around because it is obviously a prof a, a money making uh venture you know it's got a lot bigger in a lot of different languages they got mountain bike e mountain bike triathlon like clearly the the formula is working i just think those long form documentaries like the way they were packaged clearly didn't work people were 
you know, not that intrigued about it. They were clearly losing money on it and thought, okay, you know, can we like subsidize that from the GCN like itself, the YouTube channel? Probably not. The race switch is, as I said, already kind of separate because they would be paying for that no matter what. Um, so yeah, that's what it kind of comes down to, I guess, is like the channel couldn't subsidize GCN plus and then they said, ciao, ciao. Um, but yeah, not ideal. I mean, obviously you prefer if, you know, GCN plus did hack around for people who enjoy the documentaries. Um, and obviously it was easier to watch race footage. You can kind of watch it anywhere. I hope that continues. There's clearly a market for it. So I don't think Eurosport slash Discovery would kind of just bin off as many people as they can. Uh, but you never know with these people. But anyway, I hope you did enjoy this video. If you've got any more insight or any more comments, uh, let me now know down below. Uh, and cheers for watching. I'll see you in the next one.